Hello everyone, I'm Angel Geraldez, and I'm in charge of Alejo's fantasy department. Today I would like to show you a new product, the shifters. They are metallic colors that, depending on how the light hits them, change colors. So I recommend watching this video. The first set I want to show you is Magic Dust. I open the set and put all the colors on the table. It's better to use an airbrush to apply these colors so that we will get good results. And very important to shake the bottles well. Put the color inside the cup. I will use the Infinity CR Plus needle size 0.15 millimeters. Before applying this paint, it is highly recommended to prime with gloss black. That is very important, gloss black. So, let's paint the surface. Apply thin layers. As you see, little by little the color changes depending on how the light hits it. It is also recommended to let the paint dry before applying a new layer. Here you can see the final result. Depending on how the light hits it, it changes. Next, I will use Gold Yellow Burnt Orange. We put the color inside the cup. And the same, apply thin layers. If you want, you can also add thinner to the paint. In this case, I am using the paint right from the bottle. This is the result. As you can see, it is a golden color with green touches. Another example. The set contains six colors. I will use four of them because the process is always the same. Just put a color in the cup and apply it to the surface. Here you can see the final result. You notice that touch of violet as if it were a pearl, also silver, very cool. This color is one of my favorites. It has a green turquoise touch with some yellow. Truth is, great things can be done with these colors. Depending on the light reflection, the colors change. If I compare it with the previous example, and the best thing about these paints is that they can be mixed together. I will use the color I have in the airbrush to paint over this example from the first step. This way you will see how they mix with each other and create different colors. As you can see, they blend great. Here's another example. This set is Galaxy Dust. I open it and put all the colors on the table. As you can see, it includes six colors. I will use some of them to show you some more examples. And the process is always the same. Gloss black primer so we can achieve good results with these paints. We can put the paint in the cup straight from the bottle and apply thin layers.
Also, if you want, you can add thinner. It's up to you. I usually use a 0.15 millimeter needle. If yours gets clogged, you can add some drops of thinner to the color. This color is also super cool, a violet blue. Another example. As you can see, I apply thin layers, let it dry, then repeat. Another very cool color. It seems like magic. Depending on how the light hits it, it changes colors. I encourage you to subscribe to Vallejo's YouTube channel because more videos about these colors will be posted soon. I think this set is one of my favorites. It has some very cool colors. Greens, turquoise, violets, very, very cool. Now I will use the first example and I will cover it with the last color to create another color. Truth is, these colors are brilliant. Look how it changes and apply thin layers. How cool! See how it changes depending on how the light hits? And the last set is Space Dust. I open it and as you can see, it is also composed of six colors. I will use some of them to show you some examples. First I will use red gold. I think this color is very cool. Always the same process. Gloss black primer to achieve the best result with these colors. You can put the colors in the airbrush right from the bottle and apply thin layers. If it gets clogged, you can use some thinner. And if you find it too difficult to use a 0.15 millimeter needle, you can use a 0.2 or a 0.4 millimeter. The important thing is that you're comfortable working. I also use the hair dryer to speed up the process. Very important to let it dry before applying another layer. Look at the tone, how it changes depending on how the light hits. This color is one of my favorites too. I like turquoise, teal tones, blue greens. This color fits me perfectly. You see how the tones shift. I use the hair dryer to speed things up. This tone is more violet, bluish, stronger than the previous one. Here you can see the final result of these examples. And the colors can mix with each other. I will use the color already inside the airbrush and I will apply thin layers over this example and you'll see how the tones change. Apply thin layers. I speed up the process with the hair dryer. Notice the tone changes.
I say again, if you have any questions about using these colors, comment below. I hope you liked this video a lot. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave any questions you may have in the comments. If you want to know more information about this product, subscribe to the channel since in the next video, I will show you a different way to use them. See you in the next video. Bye.